I, I believe I saw in your reporting somewhere that Blue Sky will allow someone to move their identity from network to network. And you said you've you've yes. seen how Blue Sky works. Explain how that's happening. So um, the, the at the very base layer of these social networks is something called a protocol, which is really just uh, software. Um, that that's different users build with the same infrastructure. Um, uh, think think of like the if you think of any industry having maybe two or three fundamental components of that industry and everything else is user interface. Um, you can take those two or three fundamental components of an industry, like, for example, social media identity. And you can actually move that down from a feature layer that people are competing with into the lower level, into the software that everybody has access to. And you can, instead of competing over who has the most followers, who has the most identities on their social network, you can compete for who has the best algorithm that serves you news. You can compete for who has um, the least bullying. You can compete for who has a political agenda that mirrors your own. You can start to see social networks that are, 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 are breaking up and serving small little subsets. They are competing for um, how they serve their customers instead of who has the biggest amount of customers. And then you can move from competitor to competitor to competitor. So for example, um, right now, um, the, the Blue Sky team that is building the protocol, which is called the AT Protocol, um, uh, is, is really the, the, the biggest uh, company that is building on the AT Protocol. Um, and so wh while there are 19 other projects being worked on right now, um, you can't actively move your, your profile from Blue Sky to another competitor yet because there aren't any competitors yet. But once that happens, you're, you're essentially um, running a traditional social media company. You get to choose your own business model. You get to choose your own interface. You get to choose your own design, your own layout. You can build it as uniquely as you could build any other social network. The only thing that's different is the identities themselves, instead of being a part of the competition, instead of saying, oh, my social network has 5 million users, your social network has a million users, so mine is better. All that is in the base layer. And so those people can then take and they can say, oh, you know, this social network over here has, lets me control my own algorithm. This social network over here lets me organize my responses based on frequency. This one lets me move my, um, my posts based on uh, uh, relevance. This one lets me um, filter out people that are known for being abusive. Uh, this one lets me control my algorithm by only showing tweets or posts with photos. And if you if you let um, a social network compete over the services they provide instead of how many people are on the social network, uh, the, the theory is that you're going to start solving a lot of problems about misinformation. 